Hello, yogis. Welcome to your mat. Today, we are going to do a practice that is to help replenish the adrenals. So although it is, I don't know what time of the year you're listening to it, most of us it's summer, um, but for a lot of us, life just has this way of becoming a little bit stressful from time to time. And the adrenals are what really kind of suffer the consequences of that. There are these little triangular things that sit right on top of the kidneys, which are kidneys sit just below your bottom ribs. And so they're kind of right in this area back here. So we're going to do some movements where we really sort of feel that area. And to start, we're going to use a blanket. So you do need a blanket for this practice or a beach towel or a bathroom towel will work just fine. So you're going to start with a roll and we get to come on to the back. So if you know you're a little more sensitive to height in a roll, you're just going to make the roll a little bit smaller. And if you um, need something bigger, then, you know, give it a little bit more uh, girth. All right. So I want you to take it. I want you to feel those bottom ribs. And today, instead of where we often kind of put it a little bit higher, we're going to let it sort of sit. Whew at those bottom ribs. And mine's actually a little bit sensitive, so this is great. <laughs> We're gonna cactus the arms and take, I like my feet wide and I'm gonna allow my knees to knock in, but if you'd prefer the soles of your feet together or if you wanna do legs out like Shavasana, you can do that too. And I want you to come, actually let's do start with your knees bent. So mine are a hair wider than my hips and just a little bit, okay? Less is more here. We're just going to move the legs, the knees. Feet will stay on the floor. Just move a little bit side to side. You're going to feel that pressure in the back of the kidneys and where those adrenals sit. So just a little tiny bit of movement here to start. Good. And then I'm going to take my feet back to the original position. So I'm choosing again, feet wide, knees knocking in. If this is too much, you can always take the blanket out or make it smaller. Let your eyes close for a moment. And I want you to do what they sometimes call chi, chi belt breathing, which is if you would imagine your hands on the sides of your rib cage, and if you needed to, you can even take your hands into that area. And I want you to breathe out and expand the breath out into that area. So taking a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to think the sound OM, singing it in your head, just to kind of draw out that exhale. So you're going to inhale. Imagine the sound, oh, and I'm doing it out loud just so you can hear it, but I want you to imagine it. Unless you want to sing it, you sure could. Oh. So really taking... The more you exhale, the deeper your inhale will be. So last time like this. Oh. And then if your hands are holding your rib cage, let them come back into a cactus shape. Take a moment and set an intention today. And as we practice this healing class, I want you to remember that movement is medicine. Movement is medicine, okay? It's never to punish us. It is always a privilege to be able to move our body. And that our body's natural state is homeostasis, it's balance. And so when we do get stressed and those adrenals become taxed, how miraculous is it that our body has a system that communicates with us and tells us? So as you move today, let this movement for you be medicine. 
Good. Now, if your legs are straight, I want you to put them flat on the floor. And I want you to wiggle, and then you kind of see me wiggling. I'm wiggling the blanket up just a hair closer toward my bottom ribs. So a little bit more of my butt is on the floor. And I want you to take your hands behind your head. And I want you to consciously really arch your back. So I'm actually lifting some of my lumbar spine, some of those bottom ribs actually off the blanket. So I'm really overemphasizing that arch. Yes. And now we're going to push into those feet. We're going to lift the head up. Whew. Now, I don't care how high you come up. Just come up to the point where you feel a little bit of pressure into the back of kind of where those adrenals are. And then you're going to lower your head back down. So if this is too much with the blanket, you skip it. You don't even have to actually come up off the ground. This isn't about the sit up. This is more about just giving some gentle massage and pressure. Exhale, lift. And we're also practicing arching and flattening in our spine, which is amazing for our posture. So I just want you to do two more. Now, again, if it feels like too much, scoot yourself down even more and that'll make it a little bit easier. Exhale, curl up. The blanket actually should feel like it's almost assisting you to come up and making coming up a little bit easier. And down. Last time, let the elbows go wide. Big inhale, arch your back. And then exhale, curl up. Lift, lift, lift. Very good. And slowly back down. Elbows go wide. Feet are on the floor. Push into those feet. Elevate your hips. And let's slide our blanket out from underneath. So if you come up into a bridge, it's pretty easy most of the time to get that blanket to slide right on out. Oh, doesn't that feel good? And then now really breathe into that whole chi belt area. So again, I mean, when I, when I say chi belt breathing, the whole circumference of your rib cage, deep breaths. Now draw your knees in towards your chest really gently. Hold one hand on the front of each shin, and I want you to make some circles. And then go the other way. Keep your right leg in. Extend your left heel to the floor. Take an inhale. And then place the sole of your right foot on top of your left thigh and take a nice, simple twist. Your knee will go left. You can cactus your right arm. You can make a T. I've actually been enjoying reaching my arm overhead. It gives me a little bit more length. Make this, these movements medicine for you. We sometimes um, diminish our own capacity to heal. We rely so much on something doing it for us. And I wanna remind each of us that there is the greatest pharmacy in the world within our own system. And it begins with the power of belief. Come back to center. Keep the right knee in. Exhale, bring the left knee in. The power of believing that we can extend the right leg long. Now, don't get me wrong. If you just cut yourself open, you need to go, <laughs> go get stitches. Take a nice inhale. Place the sole of the left foot on top of your right thigh. You're going to take the twist over to the right. I like to take my right hand on my outer left leg. And again, you can reach your arm, left arm straight up, cactus it, or make it into a T. So as your body is turning right, I want you to imagine your organs, your organ body, liver, spleen, all the organs, intestines, everything is turning left. Even though the outer body is moving right. Very good. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, bring left, right knee back in. Good, now either roll to your right side or rock and roll and come up to seated. We're gonna cross our right shin in front of our left shin in an easy Sukhasana. Now I'm gonna grab my blanket. If you did have a block, I didn't have you get one, but if you had a block, we're gonna fold forward and I just want you to have something that your forehead can rest on. So if the earth is too far away, maybe go pause this and grab it. So right shin in front of left shin, your feet are right under your knees and we're just gonna fold forward. So one way to really um, replenish those adrenals is to do some forward bend movements. 
Our adrenal glands play a very significant role in our body's response to stress. And so when we're chronically stressed, those adrenals do become so taxed. And where it gets tricky is we don't want to get to the point where we get to adrenal fatigue. So we have to take time to replenish. And so even feeling in this moment that this movement, this asana, this pose is medicine for your body. Our adrenals also play an enormous um, role in as, as part of our endocrine system, which controls our body's functions using hormones. And we all know what that's like when the hormones <laughs> get off. Let's slowly come back up. Exhale, take a deep breath. Switch the cross of your legs. Put your other shin in front. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Now, if you're very open here, you could always take a double pigeon, and that is just where one foot is on top of the other. I always get plenty. I love Sukhasana. It's a nice hip opener in my body. It allows me to relax and yet feel a release at the same time. But again, you're thinking as you practice, how can each of these movements be medicine for me, for your body? another nice deep breath breathing in can you stretch your heart a little further forward and then melt right where the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together come together and then just below that kidneys and those adrenals good let's slowly come up and we're going to come around to tabletop position so for now you can set that blanket off to the side Blanket off to the side. And we're going to spread the hands, clawing down with all 10 finger pads into the mat. And then you're going to take your right hand and set it right behind your head. Your gaze right now at the moment is looking down towards the floor. So we're going to work the upper thoracic, which will also kind of be twisting and manipulating into those adrenals. So I want you to push into the left hand. Right elbow is going to reach towards the sky. And as you exhale, sit your hips back a little bit, not quite into a child's pose, and reach your right elbow towards kind of that outer left knee. You don't need to touch it. There you go. Inhale, elbow up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And you're finding now a nice ujjayi breath. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time, breathe in. Exhale. This time, reach your right arm to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Now take your right foot off to the right so that the toes point towards the front edge of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in. And now if left hand's actually going to pick up and thread. You don't need to touch the foot. Just thread the left arm towards your right leg. Keep your right hand for the moment right where it is. Push your outer left arm down into the mat. And feel how each little movement, each intention of movement, therapeutically can access a different point in your body. And now you're going to take this right hand, and I actually don't want you to go for the full half bind, even if you could. I want you to kind of drape the hand right at that left adrenal and kidney area. Make sure your neck is comfortable here. And I just want you to do some gentle little taps with your right hand. I'm not making a fist. I'm just sort of tapping my outer right hand against that area. And if you wanted to, you could start a nice samavritti, which means an even breath. So inhale maybe for three of those taps on your back and exhale for three of those taps. And then unwind the arm that's tapping. Bring it back in front of your face. Push into that right hand. Put the left hand back underneath you. 
and step your right foot in between your hands. Spin your left shin so it's facing now the long edge of your mat. Your knees are kind of in a kneeling warrior two stance. And I want you to walk, keep the right knee over the right ankle and walk your arms on the diagonal to the left and bow your head. Now, the more I deepen into this right leg and my left hip will be in front of my left knee here on the back leg, you're going to really feel it in the groin, but you're also getting a nice stretch into the kidney and adrenal area through the back. So keep walking those fingertips forward. Get more length, more space here. This bothers your knee. Remember, we've got that blanket. You can always pad that left knee. Good. And then slowly walk your hands in a little closer and just straighten the front leg. Keep the hands just right where they are. Extend the heart forward. I'm going to keep the top of my foot down. Gives a nice stretch there. But if you'd prefer to flex your foot, you could do that as well. Just getting now into the hamstring a bit. Good. Now re-bend into that right leg. Make sure your hands are here supporting you. And I'm going to take my left shin. I'm going to swivel that first back around right foot back around, and then slowly kind of walk your hands back so they're coming onto your mat. All right, here we go. Left side, left hand comes behind our head. Your elbow is facing out to the left here. Your belly's drawing in. Your core is strong. As you inhale, we push into the left hand and inhale. Smile, movement is medicine. And then exhale, sit the hips back a little bit. Twist, left elbow coming toward outer right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, and you kind of feel, you just sort of notice those adrenals and kidney. Inhale, kind of twisting really on this movement. And then exhale, it's the other side as you go this way. A couple more, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Once more, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Good, inhale, take the elbow out. Let your left hand come down to the floor. Now left foot is going to come out to the left. My left toes are still pointing forward. We're going to switch our hands now. Right hand is going to thread towards your left foot. And again, I'm not concerned with grabbing the foot. I want for a moment you just to keep that left hand down. Make sure your neck is okay, your knee is okay. Chi belt breathing into the back body. And now if you can, left hand will lift. And I'm just going to gently drape it onto the right adrenals and kidney on the low back and just start little taps. And again, maybe inhaling three or four and exhaling three or four. This does not, you're not trying to hurt yourself here. Just, these are just little taps, just gentle stimulation for that area. And release your left hand back. Push into that left hand. Right hand comes underneath you. And now you're going to sw swivel. You're going to take the left foot, bring it forward in between your hands. And then the right shin now is going to swivel behind you. Walk both hands to the inside of your left leg and adjust your feet a little bit. Basically, the center of my left heel is kind of mid shin, mid calf of my back leg. And I. I want to feel it a little more. So in my body, I need to just deepen a little more into my lunge on the left leg and reach the arms. Remember, pad that right knee. It can get a little sore here. Reach the arms on the diagonal. Bow your head. Relax tension out of your jaw. So we're consciously bringing our body back into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and restore. Taking us out of the sympathetic, which is our fight, flight, freeze. Walk the hands back in a little closer, or you can keep them out longer if you like. I like them in a little more under my chest, straighten your left leg. Still feel like you're almost doing a triangle. Carve the outer left hip underneath you. Sole of the left foot to the floor unless you prefer the flexed foot. Stretch the heart out of the hips. 
have a block here again if you needed it under your hands. All right, bend that left knee. Make sure your hands are supporting you. We're going to swivel right shin back behind us, pushing into the hands. Left shin comes back, and then walk your hands back to center on the mat. Very good. All right, tuck those toes, hips towards heels. You could stay in a child's pose or just for a moment, stay, come up to downward facing dog. And if child's pose doesn't work on the knees and down dog doesn't work on the shoulders, you could take puppy pose where you're down on the knees. Let's come forward to plank. Almost feeling like the adrenals are leading you and supporting you. Start to pull forward through the heart and come all the way down onto the belly. Use the knees to support you. We're gonna come to Sphinx Pose. Elbows right underneath your shoulders. Gaze forward, untuck your toes, stretch your legs back. Uh, now Sphinx is a beautiful pose to help both kidneys and replenish those adrenals because you can sort of feel the bend on the back is happening right into that area. So again, I want you to come to an even breath, gazing forward, inhale, and then exhale, push into those forearms around the back. You're gonna lift the pubic bone up a little bit, but the thighs are gonna stay down. Inhale, gaze forward. This movement is medicine. My body's natural state is balance. And thank you, body, for every cue that you give me that helps me remember at any time when I am not in balance. Exhale. And may we become better listeners to do practices like this, not to struggle our way through and do a vinyasa class, but actually taking time to do what our body might need. Last time, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, come forward, exhale, slide your hands back, tuck your toes, and we're gonna come up toward a standing forward. Bend, tuck one foot, step it forward, the other foot, step it forward, and let's take a rag doll, bend those knees, Bend your elbows, hold opposite biceps, and almost feeling as though the skin is stretching over those adrenals, just giving them a nice, again, little bit of pressure and massage. And then generously bend those knees a little bit. I want you to make little fists with your hands. And starting on the outer parts of your hips, just again, gentle stimulation here. I want you to start tapping up at your butt on the outer part of your butt and start going down the outsides of your legs and up the insides. And we're gonna start to come up to stand and just make sure your core is engaged so your back is safe as you're coming up. As you come up, come across your um, groins. So a lot of lymph nodes in that area. So that'll help here too. Come around to the outside. So we're just following the line of energy down the outsides of the legs and then up the insides of the legs. And I like to again, pause at those hip creases here. And let's do it one more time down the outsides of the legs and up the insides of the legs. Good, and then relax, hands by your sides, Tadasana, shoulders back and down, mountain pose. Just notice as your eyes close, you might feel a little bit of tingling now and movement starting to happen through those legs. Good, and then I want you to cup your hands, turn your palms up. My feet are just a little bit wider than my hips. And I want you to inhale, imagine you're pulling energy, drawing it from the earth, bringing it up, inhale. And then turn the palms down once you get to about the heart, top of the chest, and exhale. Slowly press down. Okay? Just like that. Inhale. Turn the palms down. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale.
good. Inhale, cactus your arms, arch your back, little bend in those knees, breathe in. And then exhale, bring your forearms together, let the knees bend even more and round your back. Good, do that again, inhale. Notice those adrenals here, exhale. Now as you come up, we're gonna twist right. Inhale, cactus your arms, you notice that right side a little more, back to center, exhale. Again, to the right, one more time. Exhale, center. Your mind says, I know where we're going next, left. Here we go, inhale. Really hug that left shoulder blade back, exhale. Last time, breathe in. This really kind of creates great mobility and movement through the different directions of the spine. Exhale. One more time, cactus your arms to center. Breathe in, open the chest. Exhale, round. Good, now push to stand, palms stay together at the heart. Bring the feet in a little closer. So we're gonna do a movement called breath of joy just three or four times. You watch the movement, your arms are gonna go forward, up, out to the side, that's the side. Forward, side, up, and then you'll bend the knees and take the arms back as you exhale. So the first movement is three sniffs in the inhale, and then the last movement is exhale out your mouth. So it sounds like this. Join me when you're ready. So forward to the sides, up, airplane. Forward, sides, up. Now feel like you're breathing in some joy. When you get over what you think you look like, oh my gosh, it feels good. Last one. Now push to stand, breathe in. And forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your left foot back so your right leg is your forward leg. All right, this is apparently called the world's greatest stretch. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the comments what's your if this is your world's. Left hand down, right arm up. I do love this pose, I'm not going to lie. And just so you know, if you want to be cool with your kids, a word for lie or stop the lies is um, stop the cap. So cap apparently means lies. So you'll say something to your kids some, sometimes, and the, my kids will say, stop the cap, mom. Stop the lies. <laughs> Pull the back heel more over the ball of your foot. Squeeze your feet together. Ah, listen to the lawn getting mowed. Open the chest. World's greatest stretch. World's best cup of coffee. OK, top hand down. If you can name that movie, you get a bonus point. All 10 toes. Turn towards the long edge of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, walk yourself towards your left leg. Now bend that left knee. Take your hands anywhere you can grab on the outer left foot. If you've got mobility in the hamstring and you want to straighten that left leg, you can, but I get a great stretch bending left leg. If you're a little more open, you could straighten your left leg and actually bend your right leg and you'll feel a little more stretch maybe through those adrenals. But I want you to be mindful here in your body. Make sure movement is feeling like medicine. Good, release your hands. Walk yourself back around front of your mat. Inhale, push off and step forward. Exhale, inhale, lengthen. Now right foot steps back. World's greatest stretch, right hand down, left arm up. It does feel good. Feeling every movement is a way of healing our body. Keep that back leg strong. Watch it from sagging here. Top hand down, inhale. All 10 toes towards the long edge of your mat. Pause at the center. And then exhale, now walk towards your right foot. Both hands bend that right knee, getting your hands to the outer edge of the foot or ankle. Notice that stretch through the left side now in the back body. Maybe straighten the right leg and bend your left leg if that would feel better for you. Good, inhale, hands come back to center and back around to the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, push off, step forward. 
forward fold. Separate your feet a little wider than your hips. Breathe in. And Malasana, exhale. Sit down, yogi squat. Hands to heart. Inhale here. Exhale, fold. Now you might need your blanket to put under your heels. And I'm going to invite you, take your hands behind you. Heel toe your feet in more. You can let the heels lift here. And walk your hands out in front of you. Again, really getting into that back body. And if you want to take more of the garland shape, bring your arms in front of your shins. See if your heels will start to drop down a little more towards the floor. You could always put your blanket here under your forehead. Keep your knees hugging in towards your armpits. Really deep forward bend here, nourishing those adrenals. Good, and then come down to seated. All right, we're gonna come on to the back and I want you to make sure your blanket is handy. It's a hands distance reach away. Um, and I'm gonna just, let's fold it real quick because we're gonna use it for a supported bridge movement. So roll it back up so it's ready for you. And if you prefer a little fatter roll, you could even go this way. I feel like sometimes this one gives a little more height so if you prefer that all right let's come on to the back knees towards your chest good take your legs up towards the sky legs up towards the sky and we're going to take a wide-legged straddle but we're going to support the legs so you're going to take your hands the legs will start to open you're going to take your hands on the insides of your legs we're going to flex our feet Oh, no, it's just a little in my way that railing is. And I like to grab um, just above my knee, right where the leg bends, back of the hamstring. And you're trying to let your legs surrender. And with for those of us with tighter hamstrings, oh man, this just is lovely. And you can have the knees a little bent here. Don't worry about a perfectly straight leg. It's an intense pose because for, for those that can't quite get into um, a wide-legged straddle seated, this is just a, a totally different experience laying on the back, supporting the legs. Your hands and arms are having to work here just a little bit to hold your lower half up, but the best you can, try not to overwork in the arms either. And then bend the heels, kind of click them in towards you. Now switch your hands to the outer legs. Ooh. Hold one hand again, just like you did before on the front of each shin. And I want you to now, instead of doing circles where your legs are together, I want you to take the circles away from each other. So moving the legs out to the sides, back together. And then go the other way. Things like lawnmowers or just, you know, any of that stuff, I can find a message in just about anything. But it all, it just reminds me like this too shall pass, right? It's annoying at the moment. But <laughs> this annoying person is not going to be talking to me forever, <laughs> whatever it might be. All right, feet to the floor. But those are moments, folks, that there's something in us. I mean, yes, the person might be driving us crazy, but it's confronting something within ourselves. We need this blanket now. We're going to push down. Feet are going to come hip width apart. We're going to slide our blanket underneath our hips in a supported bridge. Our feet are flat on the floor for a moment. And I want you to surrender the weight of the pelvis into that blanket. And then figure four, right ankle, bring it above your left knee. And Pick your foot up off the floor. Now you may need to move your body down just a little bit to make sure that blanket feels like it's really holding you and supporting you. And it's up to you. Your arms can stay by your sides. Or if you want to thread your arms, just make sure you feel stable. Your shoulders, your upper thoracic spine is supporting you. It's important here not, even though I just looked at all of you and smiled, Try not to move your head side to side here. I'm not in a full bridge. This is a different variation, but really important. Try to just keep your head up if you need to look. Come out of the pose, take a look, and then come back in. It's 
sacrum is supported right now in the blanket and where our adrenals and kidneys are actually elevated up. So allow your breath to really fill into that space. Let go, foot to the floor, other foot to the floor. Pause for a moment. Left ankle crosses above right knee, right foot lifts. Draw your right thigh. If you want, clasp your hands behind the back of your right hamstring, your left arm threads between the legs. The right hand goes around the outside. Chi belt breathing here. Whole circumference. Breathing in and breathing out. Let it go. Now this time, take your legs for a moment straight up towards the sky. Point and flex your feet a few times just to move any stagnant energy that might have gotten caught in our feet. And then turn your toes out so your heels click in like Mary Poppins and then bring your toes, big toes together and click your heels out so it's more pigeon toe. And just do that a few times internally and externally rotating those legs. And then heels back together, bend your knees, feet to the floor. Now listen carefully. We're gonna slide that blanket up so it's more in the small of your back and your butt is on the ground. This roll is a little thick because I ended up going to the thicker one. I'm gonna just modify it. I'm not actually even gonna roll it the whole way. I'm just gonna do a partial roll and slide it back to that kidney area. So I'm not having it as big as I did when we started. So you can see I've got kind of a tail of my blanket and I just want a little bit of pressure across just where the bottom ribs are. Take your feet wide, cactus your arms, and take your knees to the right in a thigh stretch. So your right kidney adrenal area is gonna have just a little bit more pressure. You can always roll it up more and give yourself more. If you wanna hook your right ankle here over the left knee, you can. If you feel no blanket, um, you might want more. And if it feels like too much, just take it out. Unhook the ankle back to center. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more roll. And then over to the second side. Mm. Left ankle hooks above right knee if you like. And unhook, back to center. Pause for a moment. Breathe into that blanket. Breathe into those adrenals and remind your body one last time that movement is medicine. Breathing is medicine. And then push down into those feet if you like. You could keep that roll, just kind of keep rolling and slide it down so it's right behind your knees for your Shavasana. Adjust it if you need to. Of course, as always, you can take it out. Do no props. Turn your palms up. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Soften your outer body. the next few moments, allow yourself to be held by the earth underneath you. Sometimes our adrenals become taxed because we're trying to do it all. It's hard to ask for help. So practice right now feeling the support of the earth holding you. Remembering that your breathing is nourishing your body breath by breath.
Let's begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. And please, if you have more time, stay longer. Stretch your arms over your head. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, maybe placing them either on that blanket or in front or behind it, and roll to your right side. Pushing into that bottom hand, let's bring our torso back up. Hands together at your heart space. Eyes closed or gently down at the floor. Take a moment to truly and deeply honor yourself for taking this time to replenish your own body, to allow it to move in a way that is nourishing and healing for you. Draw your thumbs to third eye. Thank you, yogis. Thank you for taking time for this practice. Namaste.